Good afternoon, Vikes. I'm Alex. And I'm Cadence, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Here are your daily announcements. Juniors, today and Thursday during CALP, there will be a discussion in the auditorium to share information about the internship program. Check Schoology for more information. Volunteers are needed today for help with harvesters from 3.30 to 5. Check Schoology for more information on how you can help. If any SHS students are considering studying abroad in high school, check Schoology for more information. Valentine's Girls will be sold at lunchtime from now until February 11th. The Power Prep class is scheduled for February 19th. Register by the 12th to receive a discount. Let's go see what some students think about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. As time has gone on, the COVID-19 vaccine has slowly become more available to more people. Sometime later this year, people within our school should have access to getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Because of this, I want to see what students thought of the vaccine and whether or not they are going to get it. What are your overall feelings about school and the current COVID-19 pandemic? I think it's weird for me because I don't get to see my friends because they're all A group. And it's just hard to stay um, six feet apart from everyone with people in the building. School's uh, not as interesting as it used to be. Not that school is ever very interesting but it's very hard to pay attention all the time. When you are able to get the vaccine, will you go ahead and take it or are you not going to? I'm going to wait. So why are you waiting to get the uh, COVID-19 vaccine? Um, because as of right now, I feel like there's not enough like information about it and how it's going to affect people. So I feel like whatever we know, what, how it's going to affect people, I will. I might wait a little bit just because uh, I don't know if the vaccine is, um, if it works. But I would not wait uh, like more than a month. Okay, that's fair. So, uh, so why are you planning on getting the COVID-19 vaccine? What's your reasoning behind it? Well, uh, I kind of just want this to be over with as soon as possible. So with everything going on right now, are you looking forward to a possible end to the current COVID-19 pandemic? Yes. Yes. Hopefully, we can see an end to this pandemic soon. Stay safe and continue to wear your mask. Now, back to your anchors. SVTV sports directors are asking for your input to select the SHS Athlete of the Week. Please go to SchoolG to cast your vote. Anyone who is unable to attend the Girls Swim informational meeting, please stop by room 911 in the Freshman Center for more information. There will be a informational meeting Tuesday for A group and Thursday for B group during CALP in Mr. Brock's room 925 at 110 for anyone interested in competing in track and field. Any boys interested in going out for golf this spring are invited to an informational meeting in the East Commons. The meeting for Group A students will be on Tuesday, and the meeting for Group B students will be on Thursday at 1.15 during COP. Now on the weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are expecting the wintry weather to remain in the area for the rest of this week. Today is National Kite Flying Day, and we may have the wind to fly a kite, but it is very, very cold outside to make sure, so make sure to bundle up. Today we are going to be still very chilly as we were yesterday and the day before. We do have a chance of flurries here and there, but nothing too extreme. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, our temperatures are going to continue to stay in the teens before we drop down to the single digits with Sunday being our coldest day this week, with our lows being in the negative 14. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day.